Hey, my Tyler Perry sisters fans, you know, it's your girl, Barbie J here. And in this video, you know what I want to chat about? I think we need to discuss Daniela and that yellow envelope. I tell you, there was two parts of that when she picked up that envelope that made me laugh. But then I want to discuss all around that uh, whole part of what the sisters may think about that. So let's jump into my two cents right here. Check this out. Just leave it, Danny, okay? Give it to me. Or I'm moving out the way. All this damn waiting. What does it say? What does it say? It's blank. It's empty. There's nothing on it. Yeah. So I'm gonna leave before I beat for pregnant ass, okay? Okay. Okay, so Karen has gone in her bedroom and she left them out there. And Danny's reaching for that yellow envelope, talking about give it to me. And, and you know, Andy's like, no, no, leave it. It's private. You know, she acts so timid. She be cracking me up. Always trying to talk about she could be hood and, in, and hard. You remember she said that? <laughs> I forgot what that was in, in like season four. And Jack and uh, Fatima laughed at her. But anyway, um, she's telling her not to look at it. And Danny's like, give it to me or I'm going to move you out of the way. And Andy got scared because she know Danny ain't playing, so she gave her the envelope. We got her opening up the envelope, and here it is, the moment us fans and watchers and everybody, we thought we finally, finally learned who the daddy is of Karen's baby. And in this sad storyline, and what happened? It was a total flop. A total, total flop. But I tell you one thing, I laughed. <laughs> I laughed at Danny's response to the blank paper because when she opened it, it was a blank paper. And they asked her, what does it say? What does it say? And I'm sitting there going, I thought you said don't open it. Now everybody want to know what it says. And when she tells them it's blank, <laughs> Danny was like, wait a minute, let me get out of here. Because I'm going to leave before I beat her pregnant ass myself. I said, oh, shoot. <laughs> I was like, okay. I thought that was so funny. I was like, between her telling Danny to, um, Andy that she was going to move her till she was going to kick Karen's behind. I said, oh, Lord. Daniela just as pissed off as the rest of us about this whole storyline. I tell you that much. But now what I'm wondering, what I'm asking you guys too. What do the sisters now feel about that, you know, now that they know that their friend is full of ish and she playing games? And I think they know that. And that's why they probably didn't stand up for her too much, you know, because I heard somebody was saying, you know, the sister should have, you know, had Karen's back. And I'm going to tell you right now, from my perspective, and this is my two cents, for one, I would never, ever put myself in harm's way knowing that my girl is wrong for what she did or is doing with someone else's man or whatever else she's doing that ain't right. Inviting another woman's man over for sex, even if it's your ex, is a hell no, we don't do that thing. You don't do that. Plus, they all know that Fatima carries a gun, just as Karen do, but I'm like, mm-mm. Mm -mm, I ain't dying for you. You being messy and I'm supposed to jump in and save you? I don't think so. And y'all put it down in the comment section. Maybe there's some of you out there who will ride or die. But if you know your friend is Shady McGrady and lies like Karen do because she lied up in the penthouse. They watched her lie about that right in Fatima's face and they all were looking at each other. How would you do? Would you jump in and save your friend behind that? And Andy, that's why Andy was saying please because she's the only sister who knows of... um knows of and met madam so she knows fatima's cousin and she know they crazy in the family so she ain't stupid and i'm glad she was <laughs> very timid you save your life don't get yourself killed behind her mess it ain't even worth it honey ain't nobody worth it like that anyway um then i was wondering why did karen do that in the first place with the envelope and everything you know in the paper knowing that it was blank what if zach had opened it up and and and, and it was blank she would have really had egg on her face she would have looked pathetic 
pathetic as she already was looking, but she would have been super pathetic. I mean, who goes that far? They called it bluffing. She was bluffing. No, she was straight up lying. That's not bluffing. That's lying. And and they need to get their the girl some help. And the other thing, I was wondering, why was Karen getting so mad and irate when Zach would um when Zach wouldn't um pick up the envelope? You know, she became more and more irate and started calling him names and a coward and all this stuff. And the thing is, Fatima told him to pick it up. Two times, Fatima's like, pick it up, Zach. Zach, like, I ain't picking up. Ain't nobody telling me what to do. And I'm with Zach. Don't tell me what to do. You got these two women. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. What's wrong with you, Zach? Pick it up. Both of them. Uh-uh. Zach's like, I ain't leaving it down there. And he made sense. She ain't got my damn DNA. That ain't nothing on that paper gonna prove that I'm the father. So why am I picking it up? And he was right. Bing, 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 bing. You get a red star. No, a gold star, Zach, for that one. Mm. But Karen's behavior and why she was getting so angry and the name call, I just didn't get it. I didn't get it. Maybe she knew he wouldn't pick it up. I don't know. But it made no sense why she was going that way. And somebody was saying maybe she wanted him to sleep with her so she could get his DNA so she can do a test on her own to see. Because maybe she suspects, oh, here, that, that, maybe Karen suspects it could be Rico's or somebody else's. And she trying to be slick to get Zach's DNA so she could do her own testing. Because we never saw Aaron give her any DNA. So she must have snuck and took Aaron's DNA some kind of way. He must have left a toothbrush up in the house or something. Because it wasn't a hairbrush. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> I want to hear what all of you have to say down in the comment section. I want to hear your two cents. And I, I just think they all need to stop coddling um, Karen and be a real, real friend and tell her what she's doing is wrong. She can't be that way because you're not following her way of doing things. You can't be her friend no more. You got to choose between me and her. She going to find herself friendless because any any other person, I'm t I know me, you talk to me that like that. And that's the second time we don't seen her throw Andy out. Or is it the third? All I know is. It would be bye-bye, baby, bye-bye. Bye-bye, baby, bye-bye. You know, I'll be singing the sound of music. So long, farewell, azira, vida, vida. You know, I'll be, I'll be gone. I'm sorry. But this is this this is crazy. So I'm just looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say. Will any of y'all jump in for your friend? Knowing that she was wrong and knowing that she behaves like this and lies and stuff. Would you put your life on the line knowing you got a family back at home or whatever against some woman who has a gun, who, who carries a gun? Why get beat up for her? I'm just saying. I don't know. But anyway, that's all, that's all for my two cents. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please take a moment right now. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. It's your girl Barbie J saying peace.